Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part one of Life After Foster Child. And this is going to be a mini Let's Play where we follow the life of Evie, her husband Clark, and Jasmine, who uh, the two of them were raised from being toddlers in the Foster Child Challenge. And Clark, who is Evie's husband, came along as a teen, and we raised him up to a young adult there. So we're just following a few of the Sims from that house, the kids from that house in this Let's Play. And we may see whether Evie and Clark have a little new boo and we'll raise it a little bit. And one of the things I thought I would take a look at with this is I was going to put Evie in the photographer or the freelance fashion photographer career. And I thought it would be fun since Realm of Magic came out to see whether maybe one of the three of them could perhaps become a spellcaster and we can sort of go that route. Let me know who I should choose to have become a spellcaster. Should it be Jasmine? Should it be Evie? Or should it be Clark? I'm thinking one is probably enough, but you know, who knows? It is only supposed to be a little short a Let's Play. So to start with, I have Evie down here. They moved to Del Sol Valley. And this is actually the starter house in Del Sol Valley. And there's now a basement that I have added on to. And I made a studio here for her. So I'm going to just sort of zoom out a little bit so you can sort of. So here's their studio down here. It's kind of a big space. The flooring is just the flooring that is in the main space upstairs. I didn't really renovate it. Well, I renovated it. I didn't redecorate. I guess that's what I should say. And so then there's just like an open area with some exercise area, you know, some indoor planting, uh, floral arranging and, you know, stuff skilled things. And there's a little patio outside just so that it has some natural light going into the basement, which then goes up here and some stairs going down. I did do this renovation before before the um, configurable stairs came out but I actually think that these stairs work like the whole setup so I didn't change any of the stairs in this particular lot in the back here we got a whole lot of they moved they moved in they sold some of their things that they had in their inventory not all of them so they got a lot of money and then that's what I used to renovate the house so they have to plant all of their plants and stuff like that uh there's they just kind of got here or they I think they I don't even think they've had their um yeah, they think they just moved in. So then this house originally has like a one bedroom. It's like this here and there's one bathroom. But I essentially extended it and added a bedroom here. So it's a four bedroom house, which I use often. But then I further made it bigger by adding a really big basement to it. So um, they don't really need four bedrooms right now. So essentially, even though we have four bedrooms, we have beds in all of them. Uh, they have like a, this area is for making videos and music and this has like we have got computers everywhere because we brought those with us so some of the stuff is what we brought with us and they have a new cat so of course my kind of idea with the cat is that when one of them became a spellcaster we could perhaps have the cat be their familiar or one of their familiars um so luna barker <laughs> i named her after actually it was Jasmine because that was just the name of the household for some because she's the oldest I guess maybe that's why they gave she was the first one in the household so that the household is called the Barker household which is quite funny because I just took her along because I thought when they had a new boo she could help really the main focus is going to be Evie and Clark unless of course we choose Jasmine to become our spellcaster so let's hit play and go on with Evie down here and we're going to get her to go in here she's a freelance writer right now so what we want to do is we want to change freelancer trait and have her become a photographer. Of course, the glitches that they had with things not coming back was fixed with the last week's game update. So we're going to go tomorrow style freelance fashion photographers. So there we go. So we need to select a gig. We may as well do that right away. Uh, and we will do, she is, this is weird. <laughs> she can't do it anyways because she's not high enough, but doesn't even have any of the details there. So we, so she's level three, I guess. So this is set the space stage, perfect out with the perfect background. Interesting. I wonder how, and this is in the fashion. Why don't we try this one? Sims in a fashion pose. So we're going to do the, this Estella Landgrab demands a flawless photo of Sims in a fashion pose. Don't let her down. So we're going to do that one. So take a photo of a Sim in a fashion pose in front of a fashion studio backdrop get photo approved, and then post the photo to Fashion Simstagram. So we need someone to come down here. And Jasmine is busy. Evie, so why don't we have, I was going to, we could have Clark do it. 
Um, when does he go? He's on vacation. I had him go on vacation, so we're good for that. So we're going to have, let's see here, we're going to ask to pose Clark, because Jasmine's busy doing her, her planting for us right now. And of course, she's going to go play her instrument. When will, we'll let her do that while we're waiting. Okay, so here he is. I'm going to just pause quickly. We're going to, hmm, uh, that's, oops, I didn't mean to drag that. We'll just let him stay in that outfit. <laughs> so now we're going to go over here and we are going to take a picture of the sim on the subject mark, Clark, and hit play. Now we need to make him in a fashion pose. So we're going to go there and we're going to do this. And we'll take one like this and we'll do it. We'll have one in this way. And we'll try it change again. There we go. Maybe we'll get a medium one of that. And, oh, that wasn't even, <laughs> it's not fashion. We got to go back to fashion. There we go. It looks the same as the one we had before. There, that's different. I think. <laughs> I think it's different. There we go. Another different one. Let's go here and then we'll do a big one. And maybe she wants one for her wallet. We'll say that's what it is. <laughs> Another fashion. <laughs> there we go. And actually we'll rotate it. So we have it like this. Oh, it's small. I meant to make it big. Oh, well, we got our pictures. We did that. So now we need to get a picture, get a photo approved. So do we have an empty wall here? Well, we have empty walls right outside our room. For now, we'll just use this one because there's a wall on two sides that we can get to. So here, here we go. There we go. But I don't think that's a fashion pose. That was one that changed on us and we didn't need that. There we go. That's a fashion pose. So we're going to go here and go into freelancer and submit photo for client's approval. And fingers crossed, it is outstanding, of course, because we use the tripod and the tripod means that the pictures turn out well. So we submitted that for approval and we need to wait for it to come back. We can't do much with it. We need to wait. So we're going to go on. Well, we got to wait for it to get approved. Hopefully it will. Now you can leave now. You don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> You've got your pictures taken. So you're good to go. And I think, let's see, you need to spend a little bit more time on the computer. So why don't we have you come up? Let's, let's put the walls back into cutaway. And why don't we come have you go here and um, do some work on the computer? Why don't we have you... Why don't you make a mobile app that will help you? Just make sure you're, you're okay. <laughs> you could be better. You could be worse. And now this is a new Patchy. So we need to, you know, do the usual with Patchy and get him to be our friend. Oh, we're like all excited because I don't think actually uh, Evie is famous. Yeah, she's not yet. She has books she needs to. Now that I think about it. She needs to sell some paintings to collectors or art gallery, which I didn't have her do because I kept putting her pictures in her inventory so that we could sell them over here when they were off on their own and not in this location. So we can have her do that. And uh, so they're all doing their thing. I'm just going to have her continue to talk to Patchy so that we can unlock his outfit and also then get the ability to, you know, check his pockets for seeds. So we have lots of plans. We probably don't really need it. But more importantly, he comes off and helps look after our garden. That's really the main reason we want to do that. So we're going to... Oh, we got some 6,912 royalties. And a lot of that is from... <laughs> most of that is from Jasmine. I guess another good reason to bring her with us. She she gives us lots of money. <laughs> That's not the reason I brought her. I brought her because I thought she could help with the Nibu. And we could continue a little bit with her career a little bit. She works tomorrow, if I remember correctly, in the game, Friday. It's Tuesday, I should say. So she needs to develop friendship with her co-star. And I'm not going to do the research angry emotion because I don't like doing that. So she could invite over the director and co-stars. Oh, look at that. And we two things happen at the same time. We unlock the scarecrow outfit. Yay. And there's the welcome wagon. And we got our picture approved. So we need to get, we have to wait for it to come in the mail. We can't do very much with it there. So we're going to invite neighbors in. 
Oh, we don't want theirs. We'll have to create a club, but I'll do that soon. And why don't we have... You're busy, so we can't do anything with you. So we, why don't you come over here? I don't know why she's standing that way. And fill that. She wants to record a video with the drone and flirt with Clark. So are you coming over? Invite neighbors in. Why are you facing away from the door? <laughs> I think we need to become friends with Luna too. So there we go. She's in. We're going to get to know her. And yeah, see, this is the problem. We're not friends with her because we invited her in instead of be doing. But I find if you like introduce yourself and then let them in, it won't work very well. They won't come in. What she invite over? Oh, I see what happened. I had her invite her in, not Evie. <laughs> Let's not do that. You know what? We're not in a rush for that right now. Why don't you come over here and do a cheerful introduction? If we can, cheerful introduction. There we go. Okay, I thought I said stop planting. <laughs> so can we become friends with her quickly since we don't have the... We can discuss fashion trends and talk about the warm temperature and debate game strategy because it's going to take some work for her to become friends with her because we didn't do an introduction. We just invited her in and that doesn't count. Our All our nice traits don't help with that. Discuss local so fishing spots, chat about Senate property Senate values, Link, we're coming. Uh, She's our only neighbor. And big uh, game strategy. Uh, Looks like she did something embarrassing. Laura. Really? What is your charisma level? Blish? You maxed Endo. it. Why would you do something embarrassing? And of course, Jasmine's all like Blish? tone from, Endo. oh no, she's <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> Can we help share her burden? Sheshire. Let's see. Oh, we, 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 we she works in... We can gossip about coworkers because we work together. Well, kind of. I don't know that I've ever noticed her on the set when I've gone to work with, with Jasmine. So I am looking. Oh, she's happy now, so we don't need to. So we're going to brighten day. And why don't we... Oh, she's... Luna's a glutton. <laughs> so I have her on the world-famous celebrity because she needs to be still asked for selfie two more times and deal with the paparazzi three times. But our lot... Doesn't have a lot trade, so we have to go out somewhere with her that maybe there'll be paparazzi there, and perhaps we can deal with them because we haven't had to deal with them at all. So, ask about day. Now, I'm not sure where she is actually on the pet aspiration, the animal. Uh, she's got the first one done, so we don't need to switch her over. Oh no, give a big treat. <laughs> well, we need to make friends with Luna. So, let's come over here and let's check her. Yeah, she's done it too. I thought maybe I had because we, of course, had Minnie. So we're going to give a big treat. No, then she, but she's a glutton, so she's probably happy to have another big treat. <laughs> Since she's a glutton. And, of course, poor poor Clark. You know what? We're going to come off here, and we're going to come greet our new neighbor, too. Greet our new neighbor. No point working when we have our new neighbor here. Oh, look, Evie became friends with Luna. Good, good. <laughs> Jasmine's gone off to go play. So now that we have people, and now you've you've met our neighbor, why don't we try this again? Why don't we um, invite over director and co-stars? Okay, so I don't know. I did form a club, and I'm guessing this must be her uh, people she works with <laughs> that we've invited over. So why don't you, Clark... Let's see where you are on your charisma. You don't have a lot of charisma, and I don't know where you are on your popularity aspiration as it is, friend of the world. Well, you just need to work on your charisma, so we're done. <laughs> uh, why don't you do a cheerful introduction, and we can do a cheerful introduction here also. And while you have maxed your charisma, have you actually completed... Your friend of the world. No, you have not. You need to introduce yourself to someone in another location. So why don't we do a cheerful introduction here? Because I wouldn't be surprised if we don't know. Uh, haven't done any introduce introducing in this neighborhood. And there we go. And that means she's actually completed the aspiration. Because <laughs> essentially that was her last thing she had to do. So she's all done with that. <laughs> that was an easy one. So, well, easy because she's done all the work already. Not that it was easy. <laughs> Just 
per se. So they're friends, so that's good. They've done a lot of socializing. And why don't we give uh, Vanessa our residence keys? I think she comes over and helps cleans up quite often, so that's kind of a nice thing. And I don't know what Luna is obsessed with. We put some food. Did she? Uh, did they listen? She did, but she's going and eating, which isn't surprising because she's a glutton. So you, Jazz, you, Evie, I should say, we're going to go on to Animal, and we have become friends with her, barely. Yeah, we did. So we are going to come here, and we are going to lecture about eating human food. Oh, there's someone else. We're going to introduce ourselves to Joey Bledsoe. Someone, he is tense. Are you coming over, Evie? No, it looks like he's learning. She's learning, and then we're going to lecture about jumping on counters also. She finished eating it, though. Mean. <laughs> but family-oriented and self-insured. <laughs> yeah, it looks like she's learning that too. Good girl. Good girl. So we're going to give you, uh, we'll talk to you because I don't know that we can really do much with you where you are. And let's check in on her work tasks. She's 25% done. So why don't we keep working on that? We'll talk about best bait and uh, give repair tips. And do a cheerful introduction to Joey over there, because we don't know him. What are his treats? Self-assured, outgoing, and active. And how do we not know where she works? She's a film director. We know where she works. But I guess we have to ask where she works. Ask about career. And we're going to do the same thing with this guy. Ask about career. And we have introduced ourselves here, so we can complain about work, but we still have to ask about career. Doesn't make a lot of sense, I have to say. So, Evie, you're still uh, talking to make sure she stays in good shape. Oh, how? what's your cooking? Let's, let's check this out before you start cooking. Oh, you're four. You can make that. Though it looks like you're making a single serving, is my guess. Joey's an uncredited extra at Plum Bob Pitcher's crew. And who is this? Is this a paparazzi? Oh, yes! <laughs> We have a paparazzi, and we have Apache coming. So you, my dear, need to come over here, and why don't you... Hmm... Duh. See, I don't know. I don't like the paparazzi quirk, but we'll gesture wildly at the paparazzi, and then we'll ask him to leave. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and then we are going to ask the paparazzi to leave. Because that'll get, get us two. You're not necessarily... It seems, looks like it's kind of you're asking them to meet meanly. <laughs> oh, well. Look, Clark is level five, and she's cooking too. I assume she's got some cooking skills. She's got to go to the bathroom. I didn't get this going. Well, she, yeah, she definitely has cooking skills. She's level nine of cooking. Oh, no, he didn't make a single serving... That's so nice of you. Open, we can put that in the fridge. And uh, how about you? Are you doing a single serving? Let's see. You kind of have to go to the bathroom, so why don't we go? So this is actually a three-bathroom house. One, two, three. None of them are big, but uh, but these are two are the smallest because this was originally one bathroom. She's level 10 now of cooking, but now it's two bathrooms. So there we go. And I assume, Jasmine, that you got your work tasks done. Yes, you did. Well, you're not, you got the developing friendship with CoStar done. So why don't you come over here and get some leftovers when you're finished there? Are oh, you going to eat the food in your inventory? <laughs> That's probably why you weren't as hungry because you've been eating all those cookies. So let's go over here and open the fridge. And how is this salad? It's excellent. So we can put it away over here. And there's that paparazzi back again. We could, you know... But let's not do it with the same paparazzi. He didn't leave. <laughs> we asked him to leave, and he's still there. We need a dog to chase him off. So uh, put that back. Uh, speaking of those, I think we actually have some other ones in our inventory. Some better ones in our inventory. But I believe they are in Evie's inventory. But I'll get them out now, later. We don't need to do it now. Probably what she should do. 
before we end this part is instead of doing the painter extraordinaire one, which I'll set up and we can work on at another point, point in time, we should have her publish some of these books. So, cause she has a bunch of things in her inventory that she can publish. So she, I'm assuming she must have at least one bestseller. There you go. There's a bestseller. And then we're going to, for the others, we're going to, oh, he got some money for his day off. So we're just going to sell, uh, you know, obviously just, we can only do one to the literary digest a week anyways. So we've done that. And so now she's getting some fame. That's, that one was a bestseller. Bestseller. Excellent. And excellent. <laughs> Keep trying. Excellent. Are you going to do this, Evie? I have a whole bunch stacked up here. We'll wait till you're done all that and to see if there's any more bestsellers. So we're, we're good to go for that. And I assume that people will leave soon. And the cat's afraid of the TV. Actually, speaking of the cat, Clark, why don't you come over here and befriend the cat? Why don't you pet the cat and give her another big treat? <laughs> uh, get to know. And we don't need to be on this charisma popularity aspiration because it's really not doing us any good. And he's got the same thing. So why don't we, just because he's actually working on this we can keep track of our computer with our hours on the there instead so we'll put it back there and let's quickly check have you done all of that you have so why don't we see double check that everything left in there is a bestseller no there's an excellent one bestseller so we have one more excellent one so we'll put that in there so we have eight books published or we will have eight books published so she has done that, and why don't you come over here and get yourself some leftovers? And there he's being friendly to the cat, hopefully becoming friends. That's my... Okay, what are you doing in our house? Um, you're not allowed in our house. You're paparazzi, aren't you? How come... Huh, he's not saying paparazzi anymore. Well, why don't we do a cheerful... Now he's a fan. <laughs> okay. So... He ceased to being a paparazzi, so he, he didn't leave, but he doesn't have paparazzi in the title anymore. He's just showing that he's a, uh, oh, he's a kleptomaniac, so we need to ask him to leave. Ask to leave, bye-bye. We don't like kleptomaniacs in our house. And you love the outdoors anyways, so you should go along and go outdoors. But uh, hopefully that works, but we're going to end this part here. Do let me know who I should have go to the realm of magic and uh, ask to become a spellcaster evie clark or jasmine in the comments down below thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye this has been jennifer if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them below i'd love to see them if you like the video please leave a like and if you'd like to see more videos of challenge let's plays tutorials and occasional speed builds Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.